If you're looking to start or scale an Airbnb business in 2024, but you have at least five to seven hours a week to put into this, and you have at least a small amount of capital to start with, I wanna give you my seven step framework for free and how I was able to go from zero to $320,000 a year in revenue in my very first year of Airbnb arbitrage. Hi everyone, so let's begin today's real tutorial. So as you saw in the starting, the reel will be minimalistic style okay so first we'll learn how to create this text animation as you can see the text is going up and it's you know fading in so there are two properties at play here which is first one the opacity and secondly the position okay so actually there are this much text but i'll go i'm going to do this one okay because all the animations are same okay so i am going to do this okay so let me just hit right click and bring in a text layer and right here do the animation first I'll you know head on to this text okay and now hit on animate first of all we want to do the opacity animation so I'll hit opacity okay make this zero then open this range selector okay which will have these options start and offset and advanced then just hit on offset go ahead let's make it around one second or somewhere here again hit the keyframe okay so at the start keyframe okay it should be zero and at the end it should be hundred okay so you will get something like this okay but what if you know i want the animation to be you know per word instead of per character so what you can do is simply just you know head on to advanced and then just make this characters to words now let's see okay so as you can see it is happening okay per word if you you can change it also wait you can change it here also okay you can make it lines if you have three four lines okay you can make it lines characters excluding spaces okay and then you will get this animation but it is still not complete because it should move up okay so it is simple now what you have to do is just just close this and in the animator add property and then we want to do position go to the start and what we can do is simply drag this down a bit now let's see okay so as you can see you have got the same animation but we are missing the smoothness so just select these hit f9 okay and i'll drag this to the left so what i want is the animation will be starting quickly and ending smoothly okay so this is how it will end so we have got the exact text now this blue line okay it's very simple after this comes i just hit on this pen tool okay make this fill deselected we don't need fill and in the stroke section i'll just make it blue or whatever the color is click here and click here okay now increase the stroke okay simple as that put it behind this okay now what you have to do is simply just select this stroke okay and head on to add trim paths open this trim path hit on end keyframe go ahead again hit on end keyframe go to the first keyframe and make it zero okay hit f9 and then drag this to the left okay yeah go inside this ellipse tool delete the stroke now and make it fill select the color to this blue only hit ok now while holding shift and drag with your mouse button like this hit ctrl alt home okay now hit y and drag your anchor point here okay now if you see if you increase the scaling it will only increase the left side of this okay the right side stays intact now what we'll be doing is first as you can see the circle is coming from the left okay so just simply i'll put my circle here okay and then head on scale go ahead i'll just start it from here after the text ends and then increase it like this okay as simple as that hit f9 
and we can select this again so it will start speed and end slowly this is our animation and can give it distance to make it more smoother let me just copy this the shape layer okay the line which you created and change the color to white so we have got this okay now let me you know rename this to white line and you know bring this here okay as you can see it's here simple bring it over here now what i'll do is it's written here five to seven hours i'm just going to copy this put it over here and write five to seven hours select this and change the color to blue put it over here okay so as you can see it's coming up like this this clock okay so i'll bring in the clock first hit okay put it above as you can see here it is advanced 3d okay so first of all let me tell you where i brought these images just head on to you know sketch fab where you can get 3d models okay this is also a model which i'll be using just you know head on here and search for alarm clock okay and see you will get so many some are paid but some are free also you can go here for example i'll choose this okay and yeah hit on download 3d model and then select this glb texture size size you can choose you know select higher size just select this okay so this is the way you can you know get 3d models so now let's do it first i'll hit control alt home hit s to make it you know smaller bring this here i'll just rotate it like this okay and i'll hit this z rotation x rotation okay and let's hit y also go here okay let's do one more thing hit shift plus p because position animation is also there and hit on position keyframe go here hit on all of these again now just drag this down okay simply i'll just you know rotate this make it straight now select all of this hit f9 and do this same we zoom it in okay so as you can see you have got the same animation okay okay after this i'll just you know hit control shift c and make it a compound clip okay make it 3d everything okay so after this animation is over hit on new bring in a camera hit on new bring in a null object make that 3d connect the pan and click to the null and now hit p position keyframe go ahead and drag this yeah like this okay just deselect this shape layer which is this circle layer we don't want to you know make that assigned you know make that 3d so as you can see it is moving to the left now hit f9 and drag this to the left to make it a smoother animation okay now again there will be a coin animation okay so i'll just bring the coin here okay now we have to simply do this rotation animation which is also very simple so hit r okay hit on y go ahead and rotate it like this then hit f9 and drag this to the left now you have got this also and as you can see the text animation which is here is also again the same okay so again the same text animation just put the text here now for the next animation this so again the text here is same but how you will make this okay so it is simple okay i'll show you 
again i'll use my null hit here position keyframe go ahead and drag this now i'll just head on here rounded rectangle let me see it first yeah make this like this okay i'll be doing one okay you can do the rest it's very simple and let's make it blue okay so you can see properly now just simply you know head on to layer styles and then bevel and emboss and here just you know increase the size and as you can see you have got the same okay just you can you know change the angle okay whatever you like so you'll get the same effect and then you can you know just write here new text i have written one change the color to white and then hit s put it over here okay so as you can see you have got the same animation okay but as you can see this white okay white flashing is going on okay on these letters so how is he doing that okay so first of all i just select this two and make it a compound clip or pre-composite by hitting ctrl shift and c okay make it a 3d okay now how that white animation is coming is just head on to effects and presets and just search for light sweep and put it over here okay as you can see we have got this light increase the width bring it over here okay and then simply hit on center go ahead i'll hit u here and again hit on center now at the end just drag it this side hit f9 and let's see what we have created see you have got the same white animation okay you can change the settings you know to increase the sweep intensity edge intensity edge thickness okay whatever you like okay but you'll get this okay that white animation which was there you can see it again okay here so again just hit on this null wait again just hit on this position go ahead drag this again here okay so it's simply just dragging it to the left okay nothing is happening he's just dragging to the left and continuously repeating the text animations and nothing else okay but his design is nice so it is looking clean and good okay at this time i'll make it white okay hit control alt home bring it here i'll just use my counting number preset and let's bring it to the center make it blue put it here delete my position to zero okay this is actually a free preset just head on to you know google and search for numbers plus adobe after effects preset okay it is you know by a creative dojo okay so just search for this and start value i'll just keep it zero and value let's keep it 100 okay it's animating itself to 100 okay as you can see here okay the shadow first it was to the left and then it came to the right so this is also easy to do here go to drop shadow okay and bring this on the shape layer increase the opacity distance and softness let's change the direction okay and increase the distance like this okay now simply have to animate it okay so first it was to the left so just do it here hit direction go ahead and make the direction go this side and now you have to simply U and press F9 okay so it will go to the right just bring this closer okay nothing else is there okay this this whole thing was a simple animation 
okay there was some basic concepts which needed to be covered okay so see you in the next video